Welcome to the lesson on the if statement. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the if statement, the if else statement, indentation of the if else statement, and the if elif else statement. The if statement is a control structure, so it controls the order that statements are executed and it also controls if the statement executes at all. So here's an example. You could say if this condition exists, if that's true, then the statements below will execute. Here's an example of an if statement in action. We could ask a user, is it cold outside? And tell them to put in a Y or an N for yes or no. Then we have a decision to make. We can use the if statement for that. So we can say if our variable cold is equal to Y, yes, then we print be sure to wear a coat. And no, we just end the program. This is a sample of what the code would look like if we did this in Python. Cold equal input. Is it cold outside? Y or N? The user will put in either a Y or an N. So if cold is equal to Y and they say yes, it's cold outside, then we're going to print it's cold outside. And that's it. We don't need an else statement or anything else because that's all we're asking it to do. We could also use an else statement with our if statement. Looking at that in a flowchart, we would say first, is it cold outside, Y or N? If the user puts in the letter Y and then the variable cold is equal to Y, then it will print, be sure to wear a coat. If the user puts in an N, which means that the cold will not equal Y, so it'll have to go the other direction, then it'll go down the no side and it will print, it's hot out. So let's look at the code for this statement. Cold equal input equal, is it cold outside? Yes or no, Y or N basically. The user will put in a letter and then if it's cold is true, then it'll print as cold outside. If it's false, it'll jump down to the else and it'll print as hot outside. Notice the indentation. Your statements under your if statement must be indented and your statement under the else statement must be indented. This is extremely important. If the indentation isn't correct, it's gonna just jump right across it and it's not even gonna check the condition in the first place. So you wanna make sure that that indentation is all set. So in this, if the user puts in Y, again, it's going to print it's cold outside. If they put in no, that statement will not run. The program will jump down to the else and then it'll print it's hot outside. Now you might have more conditions that you want to test. So you could also do an if elif else statement. In this case, let's look at the flow chart. We start and we ask the user, is it cold, warm, or hot outside? So we give them a choice to enter C, W, or H. Then we check to see what value the user put in. And we say, if the temperature is equal to C, is it or no? Well, if the user puts in C, then it would be true. So it would go on the yes side and it would print be sure to wear a coat and then the program would end. If the user had put in W, the answer to temp equals C would have been no. So the program would have went down the no side and it would ask the condition is temp equal to W. So it would go and look at the value temp. It would see that it is equal to W. It would go down the yes side of that flowchart and print it's warm outside and then the program would end. If we look at running this program again with a different user who puts in an H, it will check temp C, no. It'll follow the no down the flow chart. Then it will check again, temp equal to W. It would also be no because the user put in the letter H. So it would follow the no side and then it would print, it's hot outside and then the program would end. So here's what the Python code looks like. We're going to check, ask the user, you know, is it warm, cold, or hot outside, and ask them to enter an, a CW or an H. So if the user enters a C, then the value C will be stored in the variable temp. 
So when it runs the if statement, if temp is equal to C, that would be true, and it would print it's cold outside. If the user enters W, it will skip the C and go down to the elif where temp is equal to W, and it'll print it's warm outside. If the user enters an H, it'll skip the first two and go down to the else and print it's hot outside. Now, if the user put in C, when it prints it's cold outside, it's not going to do the if and the else. It, th those only run if the t if is true, it'll run. If it's false, it'll jump to elif. If elif is true, it'll run. If that's false, it'll jump to else. Else will run if the if and the elif are both false. In this lesson, we learned about the if statement, the if else statement, the indentation of the if else statement, and the if elif else statement. See you in the next lesson.